Hi, I'm Andre, and it's time for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle Power. Yes, the Ninja Turtles are back on Nickelodeon with new episodes in the United States. Toka versus the world. Yes, Toka is back. We thought Toka was dead when they had that big battle in an earlier episode when the Turtles were in space. And that's why Raphael brought little Chompy Picasso home with him to be his pet. But now it appears that Toka is alive and is coming straight to Earth to get her baby back. She wants her baby back, baby back, baby back. Does anyone even remember that reference at all? And of course the turtles are concerned because as soon as Toka hits the earth, you know that's gonna mean a lot of destruction and of course the government is gonna be trying to fight them. Armies are gonna come out and try to fight Toka. And as Leonardo even states in the episode, it's gonna be an all out kaiju war. <laughs> yes, basically this is a Godzilla episode, y'all. We're watching an episode of Godzilla in Ninja Turtles. You probably get more Toka in this episode than you got of Godzilla in the Godzilla movie. And not only do we find out that Toka is coming to Earth, but we also find out that Agent Bishop is still around and he has worked out a deal with the government. He's working with the EPF, as they are named, which I'm assuming means Earth Protection Force, a reference to the 2003 Ninja Turtles animated series. EPF agrees to make peace with Dimension X, not try to invade them or destroy them or anything like that. In exchange, Agent Bishop let the EPF get their hands on some of the Krang technology and original Utrom technology, the government has alien weapons. That's gotta be great. But even with this peace agreement, we're already seeing some conflict between Agent Bishop and the head of the EPF, General Griffin, because of the turtles. Bishop knows the turtles are cool, they're friends, they've actually worked together, and that they're mutants from this earth, but General Griffin thinks that they are aliens, even going as far as to try to dissect Michelangelo with a bunch of scary looking tools. But the reason why he was even able to capture Michelangelo was because Mikey and Casey Jones was a diversion for the other turtles to be able to try to grab one of the Krang spaceships so they can fly up to Toka. They wanna to try to give Toka her child back, give Chompy back, so that way maybe she won't even land on Earth because they don't want her near the planet. Not everything goes according to plan, Toka does end up on Earth, and you see when she lands just how huge Toka is. She is incredibly large. You see her walking by these buildings, you see her shooting out fire, and you can see the entire city below her. It just amazes me the animation on Toka of just how large she is in scale compared to all the characters and backgrounds in this series. They did a really good job with Toka. I love this version of Toka. I'm sorry, Secret of the Ooze, I'm sorry. But I like this Toka. I like Kaiju Toka. So of course you get all the Godzilla style fighting in this. You get Toka walking around. You get the army coming out trying to fire weapons at it to no avail. You get ships trying to fly towards and of course they crash into Toka and blow up and you know, they're dead. Good job, cartoon, you just so deaf. But you get a lot of jokes in this as well. There's a nice get smart reference from Donatello. Missed it by that much. There's a running gag in this episode where Casey Jones comes up with not only one, but two good ideas. I especially love that when he gave one of his ideas and Splinter was like, Casey Jones is right. Casey was like, I am? And Splinter was like, yeah, you are about due. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> is that a compliment? PC Jones overall is really good in this episode. He has good ideas and he also brings a lot of action because he's trying to keep Michelangelo safe from being cut open by the EPF. That was a really nice arc for Casey in this episode. I also like the joke where Bishop is fighting the EPF and he knocks everybody out except for one guy and the one guy kind of looks at him and is like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good and just kind of goes, and didn't fall to the crown. I just thought that was funny. He don't want to mess with Bishop. No one does. But of course, the joke that made me laugh out loud was actually a joke that they shared on TMNT social media earlier before the episode aired. So all the turtles and Casey are in the elevator going up into TCRI to try to figure out what's going on. And Michelangelo hears a little music that's going on in the elevator and he starts hitting his nunchucks. T -t 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 D, D. And this is, of course, a reference to the 2014 Ninja Turtles movie where all the turtles were in the elevator and they did that MC Mikey. But it doesn't end the same way <laughs> in this version as it did in the movie. Raphael just punches him out. It's a great reference to that scene in that movie. And also probably got a little bit of a like, uh, hey, you guys did your thing. We're doing ours. Uh, who's succeeding? And of course, I love the emotion at the end of it. Eventually, Raphael does catch up to Toka and gives Chompy back. It's a nice, sweet moment. Raphael says his goodbyes. Chompy's, of course, standing on top of Toka's head. And Raphael's about to cry. He even explains to Toka why he took Chompy with him, that he was all about keeping him safe because he thought that he was an orphan. He thought that Toka was no more. So he wanted to make sure that he was not alone. 
Toka is really moved by this. You can tell in that one giant eye that's looking at Raphael that she's moved. So before they're able to get away, she actually stops him from getting away and gives Chompy back to Raphael. She sees how much Raphael loves him. It's almost like you can feel another spaceship fly by and it was Playmates going, you can't get rid of Chompy yet. We got a contract to make some more toys out of him. He can't leave this series yet. <laughs> He's just too cute to not make more toys out of him. <laughs> so Toka, come back next season to pick him up. <laughs> We're playmates. We need to make money. I'll also make a show too, whatever, Ninja Turtles. But we need to make those toys, son. And then Toka flies away. It's all over. She just goes away like she's Mary Poppins. A big, giant, turtle, breathing, fire Mary Poppins. So Choppy doesn't leave. Choppy Picasso gets to stay on Earth with Raphael. But even Splinter is like, yeah, that's cool. But you know, at some point, Choppy gonna grow. And when he does... He gotta get out, cause you saw how Toka looked, so I'm just imagining that Chop is gonna get to that point. Pretty much a standalone episode, not really connected to the rest of the stuff. We did get a little bit more information about April. We hear that she's resting after all the craziness that happened with her with the Aeon Crystal. But there was a little bit of talk of if April's psychic powers are the same. They're either believing that her psychic powers could have gone down, but Donatello says it is looking like she may actually even be more powerful even without the crystal now than when she was before she had it. So I'm sure the rest of the season is going to really Really get into the nitty gritty of the finale with Super Shredder and Karai and all that kind of stuff but at least we got to get this story to see what happens with Chompy to see Toka once again and if you are a fan of Godzilla and Kaiju movies to be able to see some of that happen in Ninja Turtles because they reference so many other monster movies why not this as well so let me know what you thought about this episode of Ninja Turtles are you glad the show is back and after seeing this show doing homages to horror movies and monster movies what movie genre or movie franchise would you love to see the turtles try to take on I'm not only doing recaps of Ninja Turtles I'm also doing a recap of the new CW series Riverdale so be sure to check those videos out as well and if you are new here click and click that subscribe button and also ring that bell so you can be notified of future videos that I make. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000. Chain Chomp Yelp.